and welcome to Wimscast. Where little people have big ideas. I'm Karn. And I'm Aving. Today on Wimscast we'll be talking to Ophir from Israel who is here at Public Achievement. We're going to be looking at the silent peace protest in Belfast last Friday. We're going to talk about antisocial behaviour on St Patrick's Day yesterday. We're talking about the work in St Gerard's Public Achievement are doing. And we're asking you for more questions for Geoffrey Donaldson. Today we interviewed Ophir from Israel who is here at Public Achievement and he told us about his views on the recent Gaza conflict and about the democratic institutions he helps run in Israel. Can you introduce yourself please? Yes, my name is Ophir and I'm from Israel and I'm working for the Institute for Democratic Education. Why are you here in Northern Ireland? I came to visit actually public achievement and explore more possibilities for future collaboration. Um, and to learn from, you know, each other. Can you tell us a bit about the Democratic Institute in Israel? Yep, the Democratic Institute actually started by um, starting a school, which is a democratic school. It started 20 years ago in a small town in Israel called Khadera. You cannot really teach democracy, you should experience democracy. And the school is actually all about experience democracy. Every student at school from the age of 6 to the age of 18 is part of the uh, making decision process. You can decide about anything, is part of a school assembly that all the ideas, all the important decisions are br be being brought into this assembly. And he can, he can make his vote, he can choose what he wants to do and actually experience what democracy is. What do you think of the WIPS project? I think it's fantastic. Really, the first time I came across, I thought, what a brilliant idea. How come that no one thought about the idea before? And I think it's a really powerful tool to give to young people um, a place where they can express themselves and express um, ideas and uh, actually communicate with each other. And I'm actually quite jealous that you have this uh, project, you know, in Northern Ireland, and one of the reasons I'm, that I'm here is to see how can we actually copy the idea and, and start WIMS in Israel. Can we ask you your opinion on the recent Gaza conflict? Well, it's my opinion, of, of course. Yeah. Um, well, I wasn't supporting the Gaza uh, war, uh, even though I think that this situation couldn't stay the way it is. I, I didn't think that you know people in Israel can still live in fear from the Hamas firing rockets over Israel. On the other side, I don't think that we should allow the Palestinians live the way they live there in poverty uh, without any hope. And I think that both sides should actually talk to each other. We cannot ban Hamas. They cannot ignore Israel or call to destroy Israel. But I don't support at all the uh, Gaza war. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. for filming the silent peace protests last Friday. This was arranged by the trade unionists to help people across Northern Ireland express their feelings of the rise in violence. Let's see some footage. Later in the week, we spoke to Nigel Dodds about it. Well, we had some terrible events over the week with the killings of two soldiers and a police officer. And I think the message that needs to go out to everybody, but especially young people, is to say this was a reminder of the terrible dark days of our past. None of us want to go back to that, especially our young people. Last Tuesday was St Patrick's Day and good crack was had by most people here in Ireland. Unfortunately for the people in Holy Land, this was not so. They hit the news again this week because of antisocial behaviour happening in the area on St Patrick's Day. We would like to hear your views on antisocial behaviour. Get on the forum and tell us about them. Kev, did you know that odontophobia is a fear of teeth? No, I did not. Well, now you do. Remember a few weeks ago we were talking about how St George were working with public achievement? Well, now they've started going to regular citizenship classes and they're doing a project there's four groups tackling the issues of fighting, ratting, noise pollution and domestic violence. In a couple of weeks they should be able to present to the school community and to maybe wimps. Did you know cat's urine glows under a black light? No I did not. <laughs> that is a random fact you now know. 
Here at WIMPS, we're still asking for more questions for Jeffrey Donaldson, MLA MP for the DUP. If you would like us to ask a question for you, please call us on the number below or email us at info at publicachievement.com. Did you know women blink twice as much as men? I did not know that. Now you know. This is the end of the WIMPS cast. I've been Karen. And I've been Avery. Wish for filming, sign a piece for test. Protest in Belfast. Okay.